How to use Evernote. Imagine you're in a cabin downtown Chicago and you're heading to a meeting at the Willis Tower. It's the tallest building in the city and you're barely going to make it on time, so you're a little bit nervous. You jump out of the cab, go to the registration desk, and then get through security, get on an elevator. You're up to Sky Lobby on 33, then over to another bank of elevators, and you're halfway up those elevators and you realize you forgot your notes. Now, of course, nothing like that's ever happened to me, but if it has happened to you, I've got some good news for you. You're about five minutes away from that never happening again. Evernote's one of those killer apps that you're going to use every day to capture anything, access it anywhere, and find information fast when you need it. And I'm going to show you how to use it right here, right now. So here's what we're going to cover here. We're going to look at the interface on the iPad and what the layout looks like, and then how to create notes, how to work within a note, and how to add text. And we'll take a quick look at how to view and sort notes, and then how to edit and format text within a particular note. And then uh, capturing whiteboards or documents when you're in meetings or the back of the napkin conversations or any other kind of handwriting that you might want to grab uh, from a particular meeting. And then how to dictate audio into an Evernote and, and uh, adding web page links so you can go back to web pages and store all that uh, within the application. So this is the basic layout and, and the basic interface. and. Um, what you'll see here at the top is these different uh, tabs, all notes, notebooks, shared, tags. We're going to pretty much just focus on the all notes tab um, for this uh, five minute micro nugget. And uh, let's look at how to get around here. Down at the bottom is where you would tap to create a new note on that particular button. And then what happens is uh, a new note gets created in this format. And then I like to go up to the double arrow there, tap on the double arrow, and that opens up the note so you can just work within the complete body. So this is the main body of an Evernote, and you'll see here at the top it says tap to edit body text. So if you tap your finger in there, the keyboard will come up, and this is where you'll be able to enter text and edit and format text, which I'll show you here in a minute. But before we do that, I want to take a quick look here at that double arrow again. When you tap on that double arrow, it's going to open up all those notes, and down the left there's where everything is. So when you drag it down, you'll see here at the top it says View Options. If you tap on that View Options button, you're going to be able to sort all those notes. You know, you can sort by updated or sort by date created, title, notebook. And I just like to use the date updated because it keeps all my recent notes at the top, which are the ones I tend to be working with the most. So now let's look at the body of an Evernote, and if you want to edit, you tap in the body of the note, and then tap on the thing you want to edit. So let's tap on this text word, and you have these options up here, and if you tap select all, it's going to grab everything on the page, but then if you just want to select the word, you would tap select, and it just grabs that one word, and then you've got these options, cut, copy, paste, and bold, italics, and underline there. So I'm just going to tap on that BIU button. And let's take a look at uh, adding bold or adding italics, adding underline. And, and now you've got some uh, formatted text. So now let's say you're in a meeting and somebody puts something up on the whiteboard and you want to be able to grab that and, and pull that into Evernote. So now we're going to turn the camera into a scanner. We'll tap on that camera button there. And now we're going to snap a picture of this whiteboard. We'll tap on the camera button here. And then uh, we'll go down to the bottom right and tap on that check mark. And what's going to happen is it's going to embed that image right into the body of your Evernote. So that's using the camera to capture a whiteboard, but it also can function as a document scanner. And it's a little bit different here. So let's take a look at that. I'll put the cursor down here in the note, and then we'll tap on that camera button. And now we're going to go up to the left here and turn on the document scanner capability. So you'll see this rectangle show up, and you want to uh, place all the text inside of that rectangle. And then we're going to tap on that camera button again, and that's going to grab a scan of that text. And then it processes a little bit, then you go down to the bottom right there and tap on the checkbox, and that embeds that document image into the body of your Evernote. Okay, so we have just a little more time to show you a couple more things. I'm going to show you how to add some audio and some web links into the body of an Evernote. So let's go up here to the top here and tap on this audio or microphone icon. Now, everything I say is being recorded as an audio voice note into this particular Evernote. Now let's go up here and tap on Done. And there you can see it added the audio icon right into the body of the Evernote, so you can click on it later.
So now let's go ahead and click on that and let's test how well our dictation worked. The microphone icon. Now everything I say is being recorded as an audio voice note into this particular Evernote. And the last thing I want to show you today is just how to grab a web page link, a URL, and paste it into an Evernote for future reference. So if you go to one of your favorite web pages and you go up there to the URL, you just tap on the share button there and go down and tap on copy. And then you go back into your note and you're going to want to place the cursor. Just tap in the body there where you want to put the cursor and then uh, tap again and then you have those options tap paste and it goes in there and then Evernote will automatically convert that into a hyperlink and uh, you can go back into that note later and then tap on that link and it's going to take you right back to that web page okay so we covered quite a bit there we at the very beginning there just looked at the interface and how things are laid out on the iPad we talked about uh, how to create notes working in the workspace within a particular note adding text and took a quick look at the viewing and sorting notes uh, and then uh, how to edit and how to format notes and then how to do things like capture whiteboards or uh, paper documents or the back of the napkin type of conversations or other types of handwriting using the document scanner capability and then how to dictate uh, audio right into an Evernote and then how to paste links into an Evernote so you can go back and click on them later you can kind of use that as a bookmarks capability and that's about all we have time for today. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.